Ah, uh, hello. Welcome to more World War II 172 scale. This is Johnny. Today we're going to look at the finished two-pounder British anti-tank gun. If you'd like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, reply and like. I got it finished and it's on its little mini diorama base. Let's take a look at the box first. I did a look at this as I was building it and a review of it. I'll have a link to that at the end. You can see how uh figures there. And that's how it sets up. That's the initial base, which is underneath that and built up larger around it. And then you could also uh, have it where it was in the toad position. Very cool. Vesda has a nice selection of uh, men for the mainly German and Russian, but they do some British, and they don't do any American as of yet. They've got lots of kits, and they're still coming out with more. Let's take a closer look here. Have it set up. That's real sand that I use. Sift sand into a container and then put it on here. Rocks and various types of uh, desert scrub. That's the old standby lichen. I use uh, and the, this reddish, tannish, orange uh, color scheme here for the desert. This is uh, the little bit you can get when you clip. Just like this, this is softer stuff, and this is uh, more branchy. That's uh, by one of the train companies that makes all the woodland seedings. And then this, I mean, look at that, looks great, doesn't it? Like some kind of desert yucca or some kind of plant. What that was, was, uh, it, you can believe it? It's from a strawberry. You know when you get strawberries and they have the little green tops? I took those off the fresh strawberries they're eating, ate the strawberries and made, cut off the tops and then saved them, let them dry and then trimmed more off the bottom. And then I uh, have a whole selection of those. So it's a real plant plant for this scale. You can see here the other wheels sitting there. One of the little gray shells. And he's got that and shoving it in the breech. Got them painted. There's a little bit of work to get him on there. The way they do that is you have to part put part of the figure in the seat before you get the rest of it in there. He's got it on the handle. For the most part, these pieces are flash free and have uh, go together really well. Got it some like a weather worn there on the shield. A little bit of weathering on their uh helmets. I'm very happy with this. What's nice about this, it's got a bit of weight to it because it's it's heavy. So all it is is cut out cardboard and then I mount the, the piece I showed you they come with. So it's built on that, glued onto the larger cardboard and then the glue and sand is built up to try to blend it all in and then mount it like this. A little mini diorama with this one. And like I said, it can be placed on a board and used in a wargaming situation. Ah, the mighty two-pounder. Two-pounder didn't fire a HE high explosive. It was mainly used just for uh, at vehicles, any tank. and wasn't too effective because it's small. But um, early on, the other vehicles, like if fighting a PZ-2 or the early PZ-3s, it's fairly effective, especially from the side where the armor is thinner. So that's not too bad. And another video I showed the other one I did. This one has a more elaborate base, and I'm happy we're with this one. Until next time, more World War II 172 scale. Uh, thanks for watching. More to come.